Hello and welcome. My name is Summer and today we will be going over Reiki. What it is, where it came from, and just a little background information. It is one of those things that people have questions about, they're a little bit curious. Uh, it's very interesting for sure. Um, I'm not sure what you're familiar with at this time, but just come with an open mind and just come to learn, see what what it's about, and hopefully you take something away from this. So, so what is Reiki? Reiki is defined as a universal life energy, and the word Reiki can be broken down to two components: Rei meaning spiritual wisdom. So um tapping into the life force tapping into the um, being connected to the spiritual being and ki which is very similar to the chi and um the prana that were that we've seen in sanskrit which means life energy so in reiki there's a special kind of ki in which the, there's a spiritually guided life energy that is being used in this practice just so you know, Reiki is neither positive nor negative, and it's not affiliated to any religion. So it's available for anyone to use, so they choose to, because we are all connected to life energy. We have life energy all around us, so it's available to any and all who choose to use it. The sole purpose of Reiki is to balance. It seeks to create harmony, balance, attunement, uh, clear blockages in chakras or energy centers of the body. The purpose of Reiki is to seek balance within the energy centers. Because as these energy centers become blocked or stagnant or anything that reduces the flow of energy, there is an increased chance of disease and discomforts and just different illnesses to take place. As we balance these energy centers, we create more free-flowing energy throughout the body so that we can inspire the body to begin healing. So what is an attunement? Maybe you've heard of this word before associated with the Reiki. So an attunement is the actual practice that takes place when a Reiki practitioner seeks to assist the receiver to balance and open up and create more free flowing energy throughout the different energy centers of the body. Now, a person can practice Reiki on themselves and they can practice Reiki on others. So you can learn how to do Reiki and make it just focusing on unblocking all the energy centers of your own body. Being a Reiki practitioner does not deplete your energy. In fact, all you are is channeling energy and it can give you more energy in doing so because you are aligning your own energy. You are balancing your own energy centers in order to be that channel for the other person. So some of the benefits of Reiki include balancing your energy, increasing your energy, uh, inducing a state of relaxation, promoting a sense of healing throughout the body. It can improve your sleep. It can release emotions. There are just so many different benefits to this practice. And some of them seem to be different in opposite poles, like increased energy, decrease and cause relaxation and it really depends on what that person needs at that time so this is just tuning into what that person needs and providing that avenue by balancing the energy that they have within them right then so reiki dates back to about 10,000 years ago but some people say that it started back when the universe started because it is a universal life energy. And the Reiki that we see now a days 
It is, it came from Japan from Mikao Usui. He, there was many forms of Reiki happening at that time, but he really consolidated everything and turned it into the practice that we see today. So Mikao Usui, he was born in the 1800s and he was fascinated by religion and he studied Buddhism, he studied uh, Christianity, and he was very, very much fascinated by the healing modalities that the religious masters were able to do. I mean, we've all heard stories, especially if you're from, coming from a Christian background, of these different healing things that Jesus Christ was able to do. So this very much intrigued Usui, and he studied all about what, how this can happen, and how he can bring this practice to help others. So eventually, so he opens a school and he starts providing Reiki to many people. And he was seeing that it wasn't being effective. And he asked somebody like, what is causing you to not heal? And what is causing you to continue living in this way? And the person said it was easier for them to continue living in a manner that they're living than it is for them to change. And this created this, this, this idea dawned on Usui that in order for something to be effective, in order for Reiki to be effective, the person must want to be healed. The person must want to change. So this practice becomes more and more popular throughout Japan and it keeps spreading, like it spreads like wildfire. Everyone wants to get in and learn and benefit from Reiki. I had many students, but Shuhiro Hayashi is the one student that really formalized the hand placements that we see today. He then opened more schools in neighboring countries and continued spreading Reiki to the world. Now, Hawaii Takata was a woman who was very sick and she received Reiki and in this she healed in such a quick manner that she brought Reiki and started spreading Reiki through other parts of the world. She was known for bringing Reiki outside of Asia and started the first school in Hawaii. So she is accredited for helping spread Reiki to other parts of the world. So like I have mentioned before, you have to come to Reiki with an open mind and a desire to be helped. And it may sound a little woo-woo to some people and a little strange, but if you think about it, the down to the atom, scientifically speaking, we are all made of energy. And we are all affected by energy. We are affected by the energy that, we don't even have to understand this, but we are affected by the energy of the things that are surrounding us. So Reiki helps with this energy and help balance the energy that we are experiencing. It helps balance the energy centers that are within our bodies. There have been some studies that have been conducted seeing how Reiki helps improve the lives of others. There are some hospitals that are using Reiki as part of a healing modality because Reiki, if you are sick, anything, so disclaimer, if you are sick, see a doctor. But this can be an adjunct to the medical help that you you seek. It is not to be the first and foremost thing that you go after. It's just supposed to be an adjunct to the healing practices of, of modern medicine or whatever it is that you seek. So using it as an adjunct, other hospitals have used Reiki in order to help increase the healing modalities, increasing the healing speeds, increasing just the overall reduced reduction of pains of the patients within their facilities. And if I find the articles, I'll definitely link them down below so you could take a look and things. Um, but definitely don't just disregard it just because it sounds different. It's something worth looking into just so that you can experience it for yourself. So I had, I've learned of Reiki a very long time ago. I have family members that are certified in Reiki, but I've never 
done reiki with them i did do reiki with somebody so, so in that session it was it's very memorable it was very relaxing but it also started bringing up a lot of emotions but i could feel them just kind of like just being pulled out stretched out and laid out flat and just a way for me to start working through the different things that i had going on and then afterwards it was just this deep state of relaxation and I my face was kind of puffy and I don't know what it was but it was just a lot of stuff and the practitioner was telling me drink some water you're, a lot of stuff's gonna come up and you have to just start flushing it away spend the day relaxing and it was just very like surreal feeling and I did I, I went to the beach I went to the salt water and just spent the rest of the afternoon just letting it all just wash away and it was a very very just it was an amazing experience so i got more interested in reiki and learning more about it and there were things that i've always done without realizing that were reiki and later i found out that they were um there's certain hand placements you can do for to help you go to sleep and things and i would always do that and it really did help balance my energies in order so i could sleep better uh faster more soundly and it was just it it became this whole experience so recently i became certified in reiki or reiki one so in order that i can help heal myself because if it's like when you're on the airplane if something goes wrong the first person you need to take care of is yourself so when you take care of yourself you balance yourself balance your own energies you can go out into the world and help others but if you don't take care of yourself you're pouring from an empty cup and if you pour from an empty cup eventually you'll get run down and exhausted and then you're no good to anybody else so i decided that i was going to take reiki one learn what i can and how to improve myself improve my own energy in order so that i could be a better and more efficient and more uh, loving energy just putting myself out there and helping my family and helping friends and helping the people that I treat at work by taking by taking care of myself first so if you've had any experiences with a Reiki please let me know in the comments if you want to know more I am more than happy to keep sharing um, but it's a very very interesting and just very soothing and peaceful um, just modality for one to experience and it's definitely worth looking into so just let me know in the comments what you think um, you can always go over to my Instagram Summer Perez uh, and also yeah if there's anything else that I can be a service to you just let me know in the meantime have a wonderful day thank you for being here I really appreciate your time and energy for being here and just sitting here and listening to me talk so please subscribe and be up to date with the next videos there'll be a lot more coming up so you don't want to miss any of those until then thank you so much have an amazing amazing day